There are a number of different methods that can be used to manage your pain after surgery. A combination of medication and other pain-reducing techniques will be used during your recovery. One way that we help to control pain is with medication. You will be started on pain medication by mouth as soon as you're able. IV pain meds are usually avoided unless absolutely necessary in the setting of severe pain. It's important to establish a good pain medication regimen. Oral pain medications last longer and do not wear off as quickly as IV pain medications. This medication will be given on an as-needed basis, not on a routine schedule, so please let your nurse know when you feel you need more pain medication. Narcotics are one type of medication that can be used. These include medications like oxycodone, hydromorphone, or dilaudid, and morphine. These medications are commonly used in the first few days after surgery to help manage your pain. Unfortunately, narcotics can have some side effects that include drowsiness, nausea, itchiness, and constipation. Your care team will be monitoring you closely for any of these symptoms. Your nurse will be checking in with you often, but we do not want you to wait in pain. Ask for medication if you need it. We do recommend taking pain medications before physical therapy sessions and at bedtime. Your nurse will work with the physical therapist to plan therapy around when you're taking pain medication. There are other medications besides narcotics that are helpful for pain control and they are just as important. This includes Tylenol, which will be given to you around the clock. Tylenol works well with narcotics as it actually increases their effectiveness. Before your surgery, you may have been taking medications such as Aleve, Ibuprofen, Advil, or Motrin. These medications can increase your risk of bleeding after surgery. Check with your surgeon before taking these medications. Over time, you will gradually be able to decrease the number of narcotics you are taking and take Tylenol only. The pain will go away over a period of several weeks or less. Talk with your nurse to plan a schedule that works for you. Medications are not the only approach for pain management. Other options work well when used along with medication. These options include ice therapy and elevation. Use ice three to four times daily for 20 minutes at a time. Elevation will help decrease swelling and decrease pain and stiffness in the joint, especially after a knee replacement. Relaxation and slow deep breathing techniques. Distractions like listening to music and looking at photos, perhaps of family or places that you've been. Reiki therapy is available most Tuesdays and Thursdays while you're in the hospital. Often, certain positional changes can provide you some relief as well.